Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year, so help me out there. We are trying to get uh, right now to 22k, so help me out there and let's go guys. So today I wanted to list and talk a little bit about all the aircraft that could in theory right now, or at least when the patch releases, already get Fox 3 missiles. It doesn't mean anything, okay? It's just a speculation um, for the future that uh, it is... Uh, actually, the objective is to show that most of the countries already have at least one aircraft that can carry Fox 3 missiles. And these Fox 3 missiles are probably already closer than you think and i'm talking about medium range 90s fox 3 missiles i'm not talking about the phoenix obviously um, i'm talking about them rams uh, r77s and all sorts of missiles like that right so just bear that in mind and yeah we're going to talk about because it's quite funny that actually uh this this list is uh, is an actual interesting one because out of 10 countries that we have in game right now seven of them actually can carry Fox 3 missiles, uh, these Fox 3 missiles like them ran and stuff. So it's quite interesting to see that. If not 7 right now, as I said, uh, when the patch releases, like for example France uh, with the Mirage 5F, right? So let's start, let's start with the US. Uh, the US, it's a, a very easy one, obviously F-16A ADF, right? This aircraft was actually an upgrade uh, it is a block 15, but the ADF is an upgrade done to in the, the late 80s um, on the block 15s and other blocks, I think. I don't remember if it's just the 15, but probably it is just 15. Um, but uh, to the F-16As, to get them as closer as possible to as close as possible as an interceptor, you know, in the role. So uh, the one of the main additions to it was the actual upgrade on the radar that made it possible for you to carry AIM-120s. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you still need, um, you still can carry only six missiles. So it would be like four MRAMs and two AIM-9s or four AIM-9s and two MRAMs or something like that, right? Or even six MRAMs and no AIM-9s, I think. I think it's able to do that. Um, but it is an indeed uh, a very cool uh, addition that probably will be added to the F-16. It would be basically the same aircraft that we have in game. It's the same aircraft. It's just a new upgrade with the m 120 a B, C. I don't know what versions they will add it, right? So for the US, the ADF. For Germans, Germany, uh, no aircraft can actually take the MRAMs right now. Of course, with a minor addition like the FRF ICE, for example, that would be solved, but no aircraft in their current um, basically loadouts or tech tree currently could use uh, Fox 3 missiles, okay? For the USSR, we have just one, technically just one. It is the Yak 141. Obviously, it is a late 80s aircraft as well, similar to the F 16A. And with that, and with the Zook Raider, it could, in theory, um, receive the R-77 right now, right? It is. Uh, it would be able to carry only four of them, uh, so kind of limited, but still, uh, with its Raider, it would be very, very good. The MiG-29, uh, we only have the 913, we have the normal version of the MiG-29, not the S variant. So, unless they actually do an upgrade that you can research or something like that, that the MiG-29s that we have in the game, or the MiG-29 of the Soviet Union, becomes a S variant, uh, then it would be able to carry. But if not, it cannot. So, if that upgrade comes to the original MiG-29 that we have, uh, it would be able to carry six R-77s in all the six pylons. Of course, it could carry, I don't know, two R-77s, two R-60Ms or R-73s, together with two R-27s as well. So this is the second nation that could already uh, take Fox 3 missiles with the AK-41 and with a minor upgrade to the MiG-29, it could carry that as well. For the British, the British, is, it is quite interesting. The Mirage, the Mirage, sorry, the Tornado F-3. The Tornado F-3 currently is the only aircraft that can carry that, uh, but it would need the upgraded radar that it's actually coming uh, in the next patch. So once the patch is released, technically the Tornado F3 can carry the M120, okay? 
it would be very cool to see that. Um, and I mean, it would make these aircraft a little bit more advanced. Maybe it would need to be a higher BR or they were, when they add these missiles, they're going to add a new version of the Tornado F3, uh, being 11.7 with a new A9 maybe or something like that to have like kind of two Tornado F3s, an early and a late version. Uh, so that could be a thing as well. But currently, if it, it's added with the Stage 2G Raider, if I'm not mistaken, um, the AIM-120 could be added to it. So the third nation out of fourth that, that we already talked about that, that can carry these missiles. Then we go for Japan. Japan is an odd one. Uh, no aircraft currently can be used there. Uh, of course, technically something like an F-16AJ in theory could take it, right? Because it is basically the same as an ADF, kind of. Um, it is based out of the Block 10, but still it is an aircraft that is very similar to the ADF, so it's already kind of a pretend aircraft. Uh, so, of course, it could, in theory, take that. But I guarantee that they will eventually add another aircraft. So, Japan, right now, nothing can have that, technically. Kind of 50-50, right? The Chinese, the Chinese Tech 3 have two aircraft that can actually carry it. Uh, and it's quite interesting because out of all nations, I think the Chinese is the only one that in the next patch will already be able to carry these two, like, two aircraft with these missiles. It is the F-16A Block 20 MLU, which already can, uh, with the model that we have in game, you already could carry the M120 or even maybe the Sky Sword if they want to. It's not a missile that was heavily produced, if I'm not mistaken, but still we could be able to do that. And of course the J8F that's being added uh, in the next update, probably next week, I don't know. Uh, with the PL-12 um, missile that it's very similar to an MRAM or a 77 in performance and it's Chinese made as well so it is a very interesting one the J-8 wouldn't be the most amazing aircraft ever but with this missile and the PL-8 it could be very very successful in the higher tiers so yeah China also could carry um, two aircraft um, could carry these missiles right for the Italians uh, we have two interesting things. Uh, the first one, of course, the F-16A and the F would be the same principle as in the American one. Uh, the ADF for the Italians also used in real life the M120s, so it can carry the M120s, right? There is another factor, the Tornado ADV, the F3 version, that it's coming for Italy. Technically, in theory, it probably could take the MRAM, but it never did. It not, not even used the, the Super Temp Sky Flash only the um, the normal sky flash so i don't know i don't think in real life they actually use the emo 20 on it but in theory he could use it maybe i don't know so it's kind of 50 50 again right uh for france france has only one aircraft that could carry which is the mirage 2005 f that it's coming on the next patch you can carry the mika missiles which are very very good missiles actually they are very com very much comparable to uh, the contemporaries uh, from other nations, but still very good missiles because we have an IR, IR version of it that would be very, very good as well. But yes, uh, the Mika could be carried on the Mirage 2000. Um, if you don't know, it would be um, basically six Mikas, if I'm not mistaken, that it can carry plus two Magics or other Mikas. So uh, IR Mikas or something like that, so it would be a very deadly aircraft. Um, of course, the ADF that I talked about, it's still, still, still six missiles, and the J-8 would be, I think, four, only four. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention the Tornado as well, ADV, it's only four missiles, okay? And then Sweden. Sweden has the Vigan J-A-37D, which is also another aircraft that can already carry the RB99 or the AIM-120B uh, made in Sweden. So it's another aircraft that could, in theory, already have these missiles to replace the older Sky Flash or RB71, right? So it would be very cool to see that as well. And I think it could carry four of them, if I'm not mistaken, which would increase severely the the ability of these aircraft to actually use that. The main problem about the Vegan is the Raider. The Raider is very limited in range, uh, but still it is fairly okay, right? 
Uh, then the Israelis, the Israelis, I don't think they ever used anything on the Nets Block 10 uh, or the Kurnas 2000. So I didn't find anything about it. So if you know uh, something about it, let me know in the comments because I really didn't find anything about it. I don't think the Kurnas 2000 ever used any Mon 20. And uh, the. Um, the. Uh, the, the, the nets, it is just a block 10 right now, so maybe with newer additions, but I don't think the block 10 itself used Amo 20s. So, yeah, this is it, guys. Technically, there are some three nations that you can even like say there are some options over there, but only Germany, Japan, and Israel cannot have Fox 3 missiles added right now, you know, or they don't have vehicles that could, in theory, have that. That only shows to us that Fox 3 missiles, medium range, 90s missiles like that, they're coming. They're very, very soon. I think before the end of the year, we will probably see these missiles coming to the game. Uh, if not, very early in the next year. On the max, you know. Because if Agrippin is already confirmed to come uh, fairly soon, you know, in around one year time frame, right? Um, Fox 3 missiles should come together or shortly after or shortly before, right? So, yeah, just to show to you guys that a lot of these nations, they already have their options that will probably already receive um, missiles like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, leave it in the comments if you are excited about Fox 3s like this. And what are the... between the ones that I talked about, uh, which is the most favorite of them all for receiving these missiles in your opinion okay see you guys in the next one and bye guys see you